Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to this next guide for Counter-Strike Source. In this guide, I'm going to show you how to set up your config in-game. Uh, this really should have been one of my first videos, because you can't really play the game unless you set it up, but I figured I'd do this anyway. Uh, so when you open up your options menu, you have uh, first the multiplayer tab. This is where you type in your name. This is where you select your spray. Uh, you just click on the arrow and click on the item and it shows a preview here and that's how you select it. You can also import sprays by clicking import spray and choosing a picture by navigating to any folder and then clicking open. Um, over to the right is where you choose your crosshair appearance. Uh, for the sizes you can choose auto size, small, medium, and large. Um, I use medium. Um, I know some people that use auto size but I don't really get why because whenever I've tried it out I don't notice that it automatically chooses the size of a crosshair or whatnot. I guess that's what it's supposed to do but it doesn't really work um, at least that I've noticed and then um, below that you can choose for the colors you can choose green red blue yellow and light blue um, I use yellow uh, I s but I do switch back and forth from yellow to light blue since they're the brightest and the two options underneath that are translucent and lock radar rotation um, in 1.6, the translucent option actually works, meaning that your crosshair is see-through, but it makes your crosshair dimmer and not as easy to see. Um, but in source, I noticed that having a translucent crosshair just makes your crosshair brighter, which is better. So that's why I use it. And lock radar rotation has to do with the mini map, um, or with the map inside your radar spinning. If you have this enabled, um, the dot representing your player in the radar will spin but not the whole picture and if this is disabled like I have it the whole entire map will spin which in my opinion makes it easier to navigate which is why I use it uh, and you'll notice in my multiplayer advanced uh, menu I have a lot more options than the default CSSU I will have so I'm just gonna go over the ones that will uh, be in yours um, if you have the default UI that is uh, multiplayer decal limit is how many bullets show up on the screen at one time um, or how many the limit that can show up on the screen weapon alignment you can choose between right and left handed and I prefer right automatically switch to pick up weapons has to do with uh, you having a secondary we weapon out or a pistol and walking over a primary weapon and um, it automatically picks that primary weapon up and switches to it which I think is bad because if you're in a firefight and you have a pistol out and you walk over a primary weapon you have to stop shooting to switch to it and you can get killed uh, this only applies though if you don't have a primary weapon slot one. So if I have an op and I'm running around with a deagle and if I walk over a primary weapon it's not going to switch to it. Center player names has to do with uh, when you put your crosshair on an opponent or a teammate it shows their name by default in the bottom left hand corner but if you have this checked it shows up underneath the crosshair which I think is easier. Auto help uh, when enabled shows those little um, Tech, black text boxes that just say you've killed an enemy, uh, eliminate the enemy team to win the round, you have the bomb, plant the bomb in the bomb site to win the round or something like that. I've played this game for a while so I don't need those uh, for a reminder that is. Uh, show a progress bar when diffusing the C4 is that yellow bar that shows up across the screen when you're diffusing the bomb. I like to have that enabled. Um, and the only option in here that you will have in the default GUI is radar type which I prefer to have set it solid I like the colors in the radar to be solid and not see-through uh, transparent obviously means that your radar will be see-through and then when you go to the keyboard tab uh, you will see where you can set all the keyboard binds uh, or in mouse binds uh, to set a bind you just click on the um, Thing that the action that you want to set, click edit key and hit the key that you want to represent that action. To clear a key, you just click on the action and click clear key uh, if you don't want that uh, bound at all. Clicking on use defaults sets all these actions back to uh, what their default when you install the game, uh, which it, um, as you can see, I use the arrow keys for movement. Um, so this would all be set back to WSAD for movement. And on the advanced button, uh, I have fast weapon switch and enable developer console both enabled. Fast weapon switch uh, has to do with, let's say you have an M4 out and you want to switch to your knife. 
well you, you then have to hit the number three and then click um, by default but if you have fast weapon switch enabled all you have to do is hit the number three which saves time and you don't have to click and enable developer console I have enabled too which just has to do with this window right here which is important and I'll make a video on this uh, later with a bunch of commands you can put in uh, to open this window you hit the tilde key which is below escape and next to the number one in the top left corner of your keyboard now under the mouse menu reverse mouse has to do with uh... when you have this enabled your when you move your mouse down your crosser goes up when, you're, when you move your mouse up your crosser goes down uh, mouse filter it says that it smooths out mouse movement but i've never actually used this before so i can't actually vou vouch if this works um, uh, if somebody uses this let me know if it actually works and mouse sensitivity you can uh change your sensitivity by moving this bar back and forth the higher the number the higher the sensitivity you can also set your sensitivity by doing this and typing it into the text field uh... you the joystick option you check this if you're using a joystick and if you want to use the joystick to look around um, that's where you um, check joystick look now under the audio I like to have my game and music volume turned up all the way because I have a volume control and inline volume control for my headset uh, which makes it easier speaker configuration you can choose from headphones two speakers four speakers 5.1 and 7.1 speakers um, I use headphones um, since I use a headset and 5.1 and 7.1 are surround sound uh, configurations my sound quality is set to high for obvious reasons don't want low quality sound captioning I use no captions I've never used any captions before if anybody uses these let me know what they do because uh, I really have no idea now under the video options tab or well you know I would assume the captions uh, show words at the bottom of your screen but I can't confirm that since I've never actually used them uh, here's where you select your resolution notice that uh, you have to choose a different aspect ratio for um, different sets of resolutions as you can see for 4 to 3 16 by 9 and 16 by 10 all have different sets of resolutions 4 by 3 is non widescreen 16 by 9 is the aspect ratio that your standard HD TV is in and 16 by 10 is uh, what most people have their um, widescreen um, LCD monitors for their computers on uh, display mode, full screen, and run in Windows, self-explanatory, I play in full screen, adjust brightness levels, um, the more you move this bar to the left, the brighter your screen gets, uh, this is good for dark maps like Nuke and Train, but if you're playing on light maps like Inferno and Dust 2, you can leave it around the middle. You can also type in a number uh, in here as well to change your settings and for the advanced tab model detail has to do with how much detail shows up on the player models texture detail shows the detail of textures shader detail I really don't know what that does but I have it at low because it's good for FPS um, water detail simple reflections is good for FPS shadow detail I have it high because shadows are really important in source color correction is disabled by default um, for me but obviously it corrects color anti-aliasing uses up processor power so I have mine at none but basically this cleans up the edges and prevents screen tearing um, trilinear is what I have for my filtering mode I don't know what filtering mode does I just have it at what's recommended disable vertical sync is uh, or wait for vertical sync is disabled because it eats FPS high dynamic range has to do with lighting on certain maps there's only certain maps that have high dynamic range and since all maps don't have high dynamic range I don't see any point in leaving it on so uh, I have it disabled uh, if you want to talk in game or onto the voice tab if you want to talk in game or you want to hear other people talk check this box voice transit voice transmit volume and voice receive volume um, I both have all the way up transmit is how long how loud your voice is to other people receive volumes how loud other people's voices are to you uh, when you click on test microphone here this bar will light up and basically you want to talk and the longer the bar is the louder your microphone is and boost microphone gain gives your microphone an extra boost of volume uh... so i hope this helps uh... if you have any questions about specifics um, just leave it in the comment section remember to comment rate and subscribe and i'll see you next time